All right, what we're going to go over today is a sample of our wrist release series in the program uh, and, and how to go in for your clinch series after you gain your, after you gain your releases. All right, first of all, let's say Jim grabs my hand just like this. Depending on the size of the client or depending on, uh, you know, they might have been startled or they might have been falling, uh, a lot of times uh, if the situation warrants it, you can, just, you can just ask for a release. So you might just say, you know, Jim, please let go of my hand. And if that's the case, then, then that's all you need to do, okay? Now we're just going to kind of progress through the series. So next what you might have is um, you might end up grabbing the wrist. So we were here, we secure the wrist, and we just turn our thumb and pull right out, okay? And then we can either disengage and we're going for a clinch series. And that's on all of these releases, either disengage or close the distance and then go into your clinch. So again, he grabs my wrist, I secure the hand, I turn my hand over, and my thumb comes out just like that. And then I can go in for my clinch series. Okay, another one you might do is he, he grabs your wrist just like this, you're gonna take a step in, all right? And again, either disengage, or as you step in, you can get to the side, for all your clinch series, okay? So one more time, we're here, step in, disengage, or go from there. Another one we go through in the program uh, is same side wrist grab. What I do is I turn my pinky up, okay? And then I turn it down. That's what gets my release. So again, he grabs my hand, I turn my pinky up, roll it over, and then the same thing. I'm always getting to the side for my clinch. Remember, the clinch can be done with one arm trapped, two arms trapped, or no arms trapped. Okay, and again, you can be from the front, the side, or the rear position. So again, one more time, he grabs my wrist, turn it over, bring it down, and we're to here, okay? Always get to the side or, or to the back of the client's the easiest way to do it. All right, another one that might happen is if he grabs you from the side like this, then same thing, you're just gonna step in, okay? Don't pull out. Anytime they grab you and you pull, you're pulling them right into you, okay? Let's say he's gonna punch me. If I do this, yeah, there's the punch, it's hard to protect. So instead of step pulling out, you step in, okay? You're not throwing an elbow, okay? You're simply stepping in and then once you get the release, look at my elbow. I just simply step back or once I get the release, I step in and then I can get uh, to my clinch series. Okay, which is where we're always ending up for our holds. So again, one more time, he's here, step in, all right? Now, another one you can try from there is if that's not working, you can't get a release, well, the same thing as uh, on the other side, turn your hand up, okay? So turn your hand up like this and push through, all right, just like that. So we're here, we turned our hand up, we push, all right, and to gain your release. All right, let's say he grabs you with two hands. Same thing, we can use our step-in method like this and out, all right? Or we get our release and we go to our clinch series, okay? So we just simply step in just like this. Another one you can try from here is what I call the X break or X grip break, okay? All I'm doing is he has me trapped here. I'm just gonna cross his hands like this, okay? As I cross his hands, I'm just gonna push down to get a release, okay? Once I get a release, I can get my other release quickly, okay? So again, you don't have any movement, he's stopping your movement. If he's stopping you this way, he can't stop you this way. That's why it works. So he's pushing me down, I can't get a release, cross. There it is, okay? And that's your break there. Now, if you grab your two hands, just like this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach in and shake your own hand like this. So I reach in, thumb up, shake my own hand, and I simply step in, and I can step out and or close the distance and go for my clinch. Okay, again, here, shake your own hand, just like that, step out. Again, you're not throwing an elbow at the client, you're simply bringing your elbow up, which is gaining your release. Once you get it up, then you back out. 